You know what time it is. We've got six things you should know. And number one on our list, do you prefer shaken or stirred? Well, today you might want to choose your favorite because today is a national martini day and this adult beverage has grown to become one of the best known cocktails. Yeah, traditional martini is made with equal parts gin and vermouth, but there are a number of combinations if you want to shake it up. Literally, it's even inspired other cocktails like the Cosmopolitan, Chocolatini, or Appletini. What do you prefer? I was to say, uh, not that I dabble in martinis or drink that much, but in college, we had a bar that was right down the street, and <laughs> I thinking they had like a three for one martini Tuesday. So I haven't touched a martini since my early 20s. Three, Maybe some, yeah, yeah, I can imagine <laughs> why. Three for one martinis. I think you need about one martini, and yeah. then you need to go home. So I had the apple one. I've had like the lemon one. Apple martinis are pretty delicious. That's all I remember. Well, now I know what I'm going to have today. What are you having? I guess an apple teeny. You have to. It's, I got to. It's martini day. Maybe I'll have one with my dad. All right, guys. In second today, Friday is the perfect day to grab your flippy floppies because today <laughs> is also National Flip Flop Day, and it falls on the third Friday of June every year. And according to national, that's according to nationaldaycalendar.com. Calm. So it is a day to celebrate and show off minimal footwear that is known to some as thongs. Might also be a good excuse to pamper your two tees with a pedicure. Did you really just make me read that, you guys? So they look good in the summer. Says essential <laughs> National Flip Flop Day was created by Tropical Smoothie Cafe in 2007 to celebrate the smoothie shop's 10th anniversary. What did you, what word did you just say? Tootsies? Tootsies? <laughs> Color your tootsies? Tooties? I cannot deal right now. <laughs> Do you like flip flops? Do you like showing up your tootsies? My tooties or whatever <laughs> we just call them. Yeah, I love flip flops, especially in the summer. I don't wear them as much as I used to, but yeah. I was going to say, like, you know, you can't see our feet, so sometimes you've worn them up here, right? Yeah, at work every once in a while. I'll put on uh, some nice, easy shoes. I can't do that anymore. Now you know, yeah. guys. <laughs> and if you were lucky enough to be in the path of totality for 2017 solar eclipse, well, you know how spe spectacular they are. And this weekend, it's about to happen again, only it's going to be a little different. So unfortunately, nobody in the Western Hemisphere will have any view of it. This celestial event will pass over Africa and China on a Sunday with portions of Asia, Europe, and Australia getting a partial views, but it's not a total eclipse. It's known as an annular eclipse, commonly called a ring of fire. These eclipses are very similar to total eclipses in that the moon passes directly in front of the sun, but it doesn't block out the sun as completely, leaving a brighter ring visible around the edges. This makes it dangerous to look at, so be sure to use eclipse glasses. That event marks the start of summer in the northern hemisphere. Please. Do not look directly Never a good idea. into it. And no. for today, today is Juneteenth, and this weekend is Father's Day, so you can imagine that there are lots of things to do around the Arklatex this weekend. Yeah, but before we get started, and if you decide to attend any of those events, remember to social distance and, of course, bring your mask. Here's your Triple L Weekend Roundup. Lots to do this weekend, but for our number five and six, it would not be a holiday if Josh and I didn't do a little arts and crafts for this upcoming Father's Day. So if you didn't head out to do your gift shopping, that's okay. Grab your kiddos, break out the glue, 
and some macaroni and you can get to work. That's right. We're going to show you how to make a dad macaroni masterpiece. Now, if you are over the age of five, this might be a horrible <laughs> gift idea, but it's the thought that counts, right? So Is it though? let's get started. You know what I don't notice on this table? What? Scissors. So we're off good to a good start. Thing. Yes, we are off to a great start. So what we've got here are some paper plates, some macaroni and some markers. So we're just going to let you. OK. Are you ready for this, my friend? I'm going to try. Masterpiece. What are you going to draw? I need a marker. I'm going to draw an actual picture of my dad. Oh, that we're getting super artsy today. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to do that over here on this side, but we've got a really cute one right here. Doesn't your dad have like a huge beard now? Would he does. He's been he's been growing like one, so that's why I wanted to do it with the uh, the beard on there. You know I'm going to do mine in Spanish, right? So do you have like a favorite memory with your dad? I, mean, I have you so many, like dad's the best. So I have so many good dad stories just from growing up. He's just, he's just a sweet guy, very nice guy, but like he was military when he was younger. So we had the discipline, but he made sure we had a lot of fun with him too. And so my brothers and I were really into sports. So he would make sure, like every, I remember every, almost every day we'd take us out into the driveway and just like hit tennis balls at us. Cause we really, like, really liked baseball. <laughs> so that took up so much of his time, but he would do that. Cause we were, we had so much energy. So he would just go out in the driveway and hit this ball at us. We'd catch it and throw it back to him, but it was probably a great way to tire us out, I'm thinking, so he enjoyed doing it, but he spent hours doing that every week. <laughs> this is going really well for you. I think so. Well, I have lots of memories with my dad too, but when I was young and we were living in Mexico, my dad was a large animal vet and we were always around horses and cattle. And I remember my brother, my older brother was too scared to help. Like he just couldn't be around the animals. He yeah, was just- Big animals, right? He was just a big baby. So I got in there and my dad will would let me like mix up their food. Okay. And it was like a big bucket of feed and we would put eggs in there and then I would literally stick my whole arm in the bucket and stare it around and that was, that's my favorite memory. Give me some friend. macaroni in there. Okay, here, this one's already open. Do you still uh, get around the animals? No, I haven't Not as been much. around horses in a long time. I was actually like trying to find some because I really want to go riding. So maybe that would be a fun to do with my dad. Okay, here we go. Is it just going to stick? Yeah, it should. This is a disaster. My dad looks way better than that. Oh, te amo, papi. Happy We're, Father's Day. We love you guys so much. Thank you for being the best dads ever. Thankfully, we no. Thankfully, we still have some show left. I'm gonna bring my plate back at the end because I gotta get this macaroni to stick. It's <laughs> not work out. All right, guys. Josh has some work to do. We're gonna be right back. You're gonna see his masterpiece in just a little bit. We're gonna take a quick break. When we return, the air in your home could be five times more polluted than the outside air. I'm gonna tell you how to detox your home when we return. Plus, I sit down with Scooterman Pro to give you all the details you need to know about this Juneteenth holiday. He's the best dressed man in the studio today. Yes, Later, Fernanda takes a golf lesson just in time to take dad golfing for Father's Day. We'll have that more after the break. Get to work. Got a lot of work to do here.